Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May the Lord bless you all, my dear brothers and sisters. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy, he's mighty, he's excellent, wonderful Savior, wonderful Redeemer. We bless his holy name. We bless God for God. We thank God for his goodness, for his lovely kindness. We thank him. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. His worthy praise, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 To the Lamb of God, we bless God for God. Amen. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, I would like to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of glory, Asian, so there is what I'm going to thank you for this moment. I thank you for this hour. Thank you for this uh, another day, another blessing for day. I thank you for each and every one of your sons, your daughter, that turn it right and that will turn it later. And I thank you for your children, sir. Father, thank you that you never leave us nor forsake us, oh Lord. Father God, we love you. Father God, we bless you. We worship you. I worship you, Lord. I thank you. In the name of Jesus, my Father, mighty God, please that your mighty God, I thank you for this privilege that you have given to each and every one of us right now to come and sit at your feet and hear from you, Lord. And Almighty God, as you said in your word, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. Every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Almighty God. And as we to rose, we open our heart of understanding of your word, Almighty God. Enlighten us, enlighten our heart, O Lord, enlighten our, enlighten our eyes, O Lord, of understanding of your word in Jesus. And Father, speak to us, O Lord. But as you are speaking to us, help us to be a hearer and a doer of your word, oh my God. And I speak to us, oh Lord, Father, use me as, you, as, as never before. Anoint my voice, anoint my lips, oh my God, speak to us, oh Lord. Use my mouth to be the mouth of your oracle, that you will speak you to speak to each and every one of our Father. Any power that wants to steal your word away from us, and I come down by your, by your power, by your might, and fight those power for us in Jesus' name. And I give us victory in every area of our lives, oh my God. In any name of Jesus, I come and speak to us, so that we love you, we bless your name. Father, plead the blood of just each and every one of us. I plead the blood of this life stream, streaming right now, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Um, <clears throat> Almighty God. Now thank God for God. Our Savior is our Savior, good Father. Good Father, Almighty God, the God of who I am, I am that changes not me the protect God or me the present God. We bless the name of the Lord, our God is good. Good God, good Savior, good Redeemer. Awesome Daddy, wonderful Daddy, great Father. We thank God for God, we bless his holy name, we exalt his holy name, his word, his mighty, his excellent, his wonderful great Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, great Father, great Father, Father of glory. Hallelujah to the name of God. We bless, we bless God for God. We bless God for God. Amen. So the word of Father God has a place in my heart to come and deliver to you today, deliver to myself. You know, I thank God for God. Thank God for this heavenly race, you and I, we are into. We thank God for this heavenly race. Hallelujah. We God, all this are possible by the grace of God, by the grace of Almighty God. You and I will make it. You and I will be there by the grace of God, not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit, says the Lord. That is the word of the Lord. But our God has promised you, promised you and I that. He will, he will keep you and I. He will never leave you and I, not forsake us. His word is yes and amen. We thank God for, for God. So the, the topic of today, his banner over me, his banner over you, his banner over me. Our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, he's our banner. He's our banner. He loves us so much. He cares for us so much. He's our banner. He, you know, I, I thank God for God. He goes extra mile. He goes extra mile to be a blessing to you, to be a blessing to me, a lovely father. 
Father that loves his children, Father that cares for his children, Father that never leaves his children or forsake his children. Father God loves you so much. He loves me so much. He's our banner. His banner over us is love. His banner over you and I is love, the banner of God. He's our protector. He's our defender. He defends you and I. We thank God we have a, a, a mighty God, a Father that cares for children. Father that never leaves his children or forsake his children. Father that cares for his children, that blesses children. We bless the name of the Lord. Father God just want to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, he's your banner. Look unto him. He's our banner. We should look unto him. No matter the situation, no matter what you are passing through right now, it's only you and your God that know what you are passing through right now. Your banner is with you. Your lovely father is with you. The, his banner over you is love. Love you pouring his love upon you. What you didn't even ask for, he will give unto you. The good thing that he knows that is good for you, he will give unto you. Just look unto our banner, our Lord, our Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi, our provider, our protector. Look unto him. It might be you are in trouble right now, but that trouble seems so big that you are thinking that how this thing will come, how am I going to come out of this trouble? Remember, your banner, he loves you. Jesus, he loves you. He will go as Ramai to, to rescue you from that trouble. To rescue you, to, be, to bring a victory to you. He loves you so much. Hold on to him. You shouldn't doubt him. Your banner, my banner, his banner over us is love. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy, 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 worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be worshipped. He's worthy to be adored. He's worthy to be magnified. He loves you so much. He loves me so much. So right now, let us hear from Almighty God. Let us hear his word. His word of encourage, encouragement. He, he's encouraging you right now. This word is coming to you for you to know you are not alone. For you to know the God of the whole universe loves you. For you to know he loves you no matter what is going on right now, no matter the situation, no matter the problem, he's there for you. His mighty hands cover you. He watch over you. As he said in his word, that you and I, we are the, we are the apple of his eye. Who can touch the apple of God's eye? That power has not been, but that power has not born, it, has, it will never be born. That can take his finger to chew, choke, poke his finger in the, in the apple of God's eye. You and I, the word of the Lord says, you are the apple of God's eye. I am the apple of God's eye. No matter what you are passing through, know that you are safe in his hand. He cares for you. He loves you. His banner over you is love. He loves you. Please, I would like us to enter. Let us open to the word of God. Please, if you have your Bible with you, please just take your Bible and open with me. Let us go to the book of uh, the book of uh, the book of uh, the Song of Solomon. Praise Master Jesus. The book of Song of, Song of Solomon, chapter two, verse. Three to six. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, 
Oh, son, daddy loves you, loves me, cares for you, cares for me. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy, he's mighty, he's says, son, wonderful savior. So the book of Solomon, The book of Solomon chapter 2, verse 3 to 6, I read in Jesus' name. As the upon a tree among the trees of the wood, so is a mind beloved among the sons. I sat down under his shadow with a greater delight. And his fruit was sweet to my taste. He brought me to the ban to the banquet, but the banqueting, but to the banqueting house, and his and the banner over me was love. Stay me in with an tell me with the with the flagons. Comfort me with the apples, for I am a sick of love. He, his, his left hand is under my head, and his right hand does embrace me. She, our father, father that loves us so much. So as the word of the Lord is telling you and now, the banner over you, the banner over me is love. The banner of Jesus that is over that, that is over you, that is over me, is love. As the word of the Lord says here, that you are now, as the word of the Lord says, he said, say, comfort me with the apples. And I am a sick of love. In verse six, he said, "His he said, he said, left hand is on his left hand is on what under my head, and his right hand does embrace me." So your your Lord, my Lord Jesus, his left hand is upon your head, is upon my head. His right hand, as he said, that his right hand embrace you, embrace me. I don't know what you are passing through, beloved. My dear brothers and sisters. Almighty God is telling you that his hand is upon you. His hand is upon your head. He's used his hand to embrace you to himself. He used his hand to embrace you, to break you to himself, embrace you to himself. His banner over you is love. His banner over me is love. He loves you. He loves me so much. He cares for you and I. Praise Master Jesus. Father God cares for you. Father God cares for me. Almighty God. Excellent Daddy cares for you and I. Hallelujah. His banner over you is love. His banner over me is love. His mighty hand rests upon you and I. That means we should not fear the enemy of our soul. No matter how the enemy try to harass you and I, no matter what the enemy is doing to make you and I to be afraid, that we are alone in this journey, this heavenly journey. No, we are not alone. The word of God tells you and I that almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, his, his left hand is upon your head. His right hand, he used it to embrace you. So you are not alone. I am not alone. No matter what is going on, no matter what you are passing through, no, uh, no matter how many enemies you have. As the word of the Lord says to you and all, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. 
Father God is greater than your enemies. Father God is greater than my enemies. Praise Master Jesus. He's greater than our enemies, our Father, our Maker, our Savior, our Redeemer. He's greater than our enemies. He cares for you. He's our, he's our battle father. You know, you remember that when the, we, praise Master Jesus, when the Moses, Brahm Moses, when Brahm Moses was leading the children of God, to the way to the to, to the promised land when they got to that when they got to that sea so Brahmosi thought he was alone Brahmosi thought how am I going to open this red sea now there is red sea standing on my way standing on the people of God who sway Father God let's told Brahmosi Brahmosi don't fear Brahmosi, you shouldn't fear. Brahmosi, I am your God. Brahmosi, stretch out what is on the road that is in your hand. Stretch it out. And you, you, could you believe the same recipe that God opened for the children of Israel to pass through to the promised land? The same recipe he used to swallow the enemy of, of Israel, the children of Israel. I don't know how many enemies pursuing you right now. I don't know how many of them that are thinking that you don't have nobody to, to rescue you. You don't have nobody to fight for you. Let that enemy know I have God. I have my God that will never pay me. I have my God that stand by my side. He will fight my battles for me. I serve a living God. I don't serve a dead God. His banner is over me. His banner over me is love. He loved me. He will not allow you, my enemy, to, to, make, to drown me. No matter what you have said on the way, the rest in that is on the way, I will pass through. My Father God will open the rest in for me to pass through. I will come out with victory because I know whom I call upon. I know whom I believe on. He will give me victory. As he said to me, as I believe in him, I trust in his word. His word will come true for me. His promise that he promised me will come true. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. His promise that he promised me will come true for me. I just have to trust on my God. I just want to hold on to him the author and the finisher of my faith. Praise Master Jesus. So I uh, would like us right now, let us open to the book of uh, Exodus. Please. The book of Exodus. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord, his worthy. Our God is what the mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We bless his holy name. We thank God for God. We bless his holy name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to Master Jesus. He's worthy. Hallelujah. The book of Exodus, Exodus chapter, chapter 33, 17 to 20, 17 to 22. Exodus, the book of Exodus 30, chapter, Exodus chapter 33. Okay. From 17, verse 17 to 22, I read in Jesus' name. I read in Jesus' name. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken. For thou hast found, found a grace in my sight. And I have known thee by name. Hmm. 
Thank you, Lord. And he said, I beseech thee who shall me the glory. 19. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. And will we be gracious to whom I will be gracious? And we will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. And he said, Thou canst not see my face, for there is no man seen me, and there live. And the Lord said, Behold, the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock, and it shall come to pass when my glory passeth by, that I will put thee in my cliff of the. Uh, sorry, I will put thee in a cliff of my. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. I read again 22. And it shall come to pass when, when my glory passes by, that I will put thee in a cliff of, of the rock and will cover thee with my hand. Why I pass by, why I pass by, praise Master Jesus. I thank God for God. You see. Father God knows you by your name. He knows all his sons, all his daughters, all his daughters by our names. As he told uh, uh, Brahm Moses, he told Brahm Moses, Brahm, he told Brahm Moses, Brahm, uh, Moses, I know you by your name. You have found grace in my sight. As he said, yeah, you have found grace in my sight. I know you by your, you have found grace in the sight of God. Just believe I have found grace in the sight of my Father, Almighty God. Our Father, Almighty God, is not a respecter of person. As he said to Brah Moses, he said to Brah Moses that, Brah Moses, you have found grace in my sight. I know your name. So you put your name in there. Our Father, I believe in you. I have found grace. I believe I have found grace in your sight. You know my name. Before you put before you put me in my mother's womb, you know my name. Even the name that I've been given to me, that I'm hearing, you know it before you put me in my mother's womb, Father God. As, as Father God spoke to Brahm Moses, he gave Brahm Moses that assurance, that encouragement, what? So Brahm Moses asked now, because he said, you have found favor in my sight. I know you by, by your name. Then Brahm Moses right now, have, he has the boldness now to ask God, show me your glory. He has the boldness right now to touch your Father God openly. Say, Father God, now, as you said, I have found grace in your sight. As you said, you, have, you know my name. You know me by my name. So, Father God, show me your glory. Hallelujah. Father God, I want your glory. I want to know your glory. Show me your glory. And Father God said, don't worry. I will show you, your, show me, show you my glory. I will put you in this place. You will see my back, but you cannot see my face. But I will, I, I will answer you. God Almighty, that assured Give assurance to Brahm Moses, is still the same God you and I, we put our trust in. Is still the same God you and I, we call upon. What do you think? What he did for Brahm Moses, he will not do it for you. He will do it for you. All you, you and I have to do to have that, uh, that, assurance, that belief, that, that the confidence in him. That confidence that he said he knows me by my name. I have found favor believe in his sight. Because he's the one that created you. You call upon his name. You accept him as your Lord, your Savior. You believe in you are walking in the way of in the way of holiness and righteousness. Believe. He will show you his glory. What you want to ask God. Have the confidence. I should have the confidence to come to him and tell him 
That is why Father God said in his word, put me, put me in the, put me in the remembrance of my word. So you and I have to ask him, Father, you said this. Father, you said this to me in your word. I believe in your word. You and your word are one. You said according to your word. The word that, that comes out of your mouth, that proceeds out of your mouth, shall never return back to your voice. As you show, as you show Brahma Moses your glory, Father, show me your glory. Father, as you said that, that, that uh, and the, your banner over me is love. Father, continue pouring your love over, over me. Father, fill my heart with your joy. I want more of you in my life. Because the word of the Lord said, if God be for you, who can be against you? So you and I have the assurance that we know quite all right. We know that almighty God is, is with us. So who can be against you and I? The enemy, the word of the Lord said, the enemy which shall rise up like a flood. But the spirit of God will raise the standard against them. The spirit of God that lives in you, the spirit of God that dwells in you, will raise the standard against the one that rises up like a flood against you. God is bigger. Ancients of this, the first and the last, the beginning and the ending, he will never leave you, nor forsake you. He will never leave me, nor forsake me. Praise my son, Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. All you and I have to do, let us put our trust in him. Hallelujah. Let us believe that what he said, he will do it. His, his left hand is upon your head. His right hand, he used it to embrace you. Hallelujah. Let us have confidence in him. Hallelujah. He did it for Brahmosis. He assured Brahmosis. That is why Brahmosis had that, that boldness to ask him right now, show me your glory. No matter what you are passing through, don't be afraid to come to Father God and bring the matter to him and say, Father God, look what I'm passing through. Father God, you promised me in your word. Father God, rise up and find my battles for me. Praise Master Jesus. So I would like us that right now. Let us open to the book of, uh, let us open to, let, let us open to, to the book of, uh, the book of Psalms. Hallelujah. The book of Psalms. So the book of Psalms, 91. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. The book of Psalms, the book of Psalms 91, 1, 2, verse 1, 2, 3. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. Let us read the word of God. I read in Jesus' name. He that, dwell, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the, the most high shall abide under the shadow of the, the, the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall cover, sorry, she, He shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler. And from the noisome pencilers. Father, we, we thank God for the word of God. So I thank God for the psalmist. So King David was saying that God, he said, He that I dwell, that God is our sin. That means that Almighty God is your, is your, is a, is a, is your secret prince. You and now we hide. We hide in the secret place of the Most High God. 
Our God is our banner. Your God, my God. As he says here, the son is the king of the son is the hill that I do it. Do it in the secret place of the most high, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You are now we are under the shadow of the Almighty. He embraced you and I. He kept you and I in the secret place. So we should not worry. We should not be afraid of the enemy of our soul. We should not be afraid of the enemy that wants, that don't want any good thing for us. You and I should not be afraid of, of them. Hallelujah. Let us hold on to the word of the Lord. Our God, our Savior, our Redeemer. Praise Master Jesus. As the word of the Lord says in the verse two, it said, I, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in a him will I trust. Who is your refuge? Is God. Who is my refuge? Who is my fortress? Who is my God? He is my God, God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. The God of the whole universe. The God of heaven and earth is your creator, is my creator. The God of the whole universe is your refuge, is my refuge. He will rescue you, he will rescue me from danger. No matter the trap, the enemy has set on the way waiting for you and I. We will jump over it. We will pass it speedily. That trap will not hold you, it don't, it will not hold me because we have a mighty God. Because you and I, we dwell in the secret place. We abide under the shadow of the almighty God. Hold on to the word of the Lord. You and I, we should hold on unto the word of the Lord. No matter. Praise Master Jesus. No matter what the situation. Tell yourself. I am in the secret place of the Most High God. I am protected. He is my refuge. His banner over me is love. Quote the word of the Lord. Because when you are quoting the word of the Lord, you are saying exactly what Father God is saying in your situation. Don't, you shouldn't murmur. You shouldn't complain. You shouldn't grumble. Why this thing happened to me? Open your mouth, quote the word of the Lord. You are saying what God is saying to your situation. And so shall it be. Almighty God, the God of victory, he will give you victory. Hallelujah. He will give you victory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. As the word of the Lord says, in the book of Psalms 91, verse 3. The verse 3 is telling you. The psalmist says, the psalmist says, Surely he shall not deliver thee from the snares of the fallen and from the noisome pestilence. I don't know the pencil. I don't know what you're passing through. I don't know the sickness right now you have. You think that sickness will not be, you will not be healed from that sickness. The enemy is lying to you. Uh, this person is sick. This, this person reminding you. This person had this sickness. He passed on or by this. This sickness, it takes this person's life. This sickness, the enemy is lying to you. The enemy is reminding you. This person, this so, 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 had this sickness. He passed on. This person is not alive because of this person. Because of, let tell the enemy you are a liar. The banner of him is love. My God will heal me. He's my healer. Claim the word of the Lord for yourself. He said, yeah, he will deliver you. Surely he will deliver you from the pestilence. From the, from the snares of the fallen and from the pestilence. And any kind of pestilence. Father God will deliver you and all. All you have to do, hold on to his word. 
God will save you. God will rescue. God will heal you. He's our healer. Jesus is our healer. As he said, he will deliver your soul. He will deliver us from the snares of the father. I don't know the snare. I don't know where your soul has been tied by the enemy. I don't know. Father God will rescue your soul. Father God will deliver your soul. He will deliver your children's soul. He will deliver your husband's soul, your wife's soul. He will deliver your family's soul. In any way, in any way, the enemy have locked our soul, have kept our soul, have, have, has put our soul in his prison. Father God will release you. Father God will set you and I free from his cages, from his prison. He will deliver your soul. He will deliver my soul from the snares of the Father. And if any, any snare that he has set on your way, that he has set on my way, Almighty God is able to set you free. He's able to set me free. He's able to set our family free, our children free, our husbands free, our wives free, our family, the body of Christ free from the snares of the Father. Let us hold on. I claim the word of the Lord for ourselves. I claim the word of the Lord for our beloved ones. That God Almighty is our refuge. Surely we deliver us. He's bigger than our situation. He's bigger than our troubles. Jesus. Almighty God. He is. Let us hold on to his promise unto you and I, the word of God. You know the song that said, I stand on the word of God. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. Oh, we stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. We stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. We stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. We stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. The word of God is power in your life. The word of God is power in my life. The word of God. Stand on his word. I should stand on his word. He promised you, surely the Lord shall deliver me from the snares of the fallen, from the noisome pestilence. He is your God. His banner over you is love. Praise Master Jesus. We are going to read the word of the Lord, the book of, uh, let us open to the book of uh, Isaiah. Praise Master Jesus. The book of Isaiah. As Isaiah, the book of Isaiah 25. The book of Isaiah chapter 25. Verse 4 to 12. The book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 4 to 12. Praise Master Jesus. Let us read the word of the Lord and see what a prophet Isaiah says here by the help of the Holy Spirit. We read. Let us read. For the thou has then been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the, the heat. When the blast of the terrible ones is at a storm against the wall. Verse 5. Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers, as the heat in the dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud. The branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low, and in this mount shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of a fat 
fatter things. A feet of a wine on a dead leaf. Of a fat and a things full of a marrow, of a wines on the dealings when a refund, and he in a will destroy in a this mountain the face of the of the covering a castle over all people, and the vein that is spread over all nations. He in a will swallow up death in the victory. Amen. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces. Amen. And the rebuke, hallelujah. And the rebuke of his and the people shall he take away from off all the earth. Hallelujah. For the Lord has spoken it. Amen. Hallelujah. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is my God. We have waited for him. And he will save us. Amen. This is the, the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be in a glad and rejoice in his salvation. Amen. For in this mortal shall the hand of the Lord rest, and the Moab shall be in the trodden down under him. Even as in the straw is trodden down, for they don't hear. For the done he, and he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them, as he that and swim it spread forth his hands to swim, and he shall bring down the pride together with the spirits of their hands, and twenty twelve, and the fortress of the of the high fort of thy walls shall be a Bring, bring it down, low, lay low, and bring it to the ground, even to the dust. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. As the God is telling you, he will bring your enemy, he will bring their plans in your life to dust. He will bring your enemy low. He will let them. He will let them low. He will let your enemy low and bring them down to the dust. I don't know how many of how many your your enemies. How many of my enemies? But Father God knows. He said he will bring them down. He will. He will let them low. He will let them low. He will bring them down. He will bring them to dust. The enemy of your soul that said you will not enjoy your salvation, that the, 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 the freedom of Jesus I've given to you, the freedom that you and I, we have got from our father, Jesus, almighty God, the king of glory. The enemy that bossy you, you will not enjoy. Father God said he will bring them, what? He will bring them down and bring them to dust. To dust. So whom you, uh, who are you going to believe? Are you going to believe your enemy? The harassing your life, the harassing your family, the harassing what uh, harassing you. Are you going to believe in that enemy, or you are going to believe your God that is greater than your enemies? Believe God. Believe God and His word. As he says here, the word of the Lord said in the, in the, in the verse 4, he said, for the thou hast been a strength to the poor. Jesus is our strength. Father God is your strength. He said he has been, he has been a strength to the poor. He's, he's still your strength. He's still my strength. That God is our strength. We don't fight battle with our strength. We don't fight battle with our power. We fight the battle with the strength of God. Is God is our strength, a strength to the needy in the district. I don't know the district you are passing through. Jesus is your strength. You will pass through, you will come out with victory in Jesus' name. A refuge from a dead storm. I don't know what kind of storm you are passing through right now, beloved. Any storm that you are passing through, maybe storm in the family, maybe storm in your, in your marriage, maybe storm in your finances, maybe storm at your working place. Or some in your neighborhood. Father God, is, Father God is telling you that he is your refuge. He is your refuge in, in the storm. He is your refuge. I don't know what kind of storm is that one you are passing to. You have right now, Father God is your refuge. Believe and trust in him and hold on to the refuge 
Almighty God, that is your refuge. Hold on to him. As the word of the Lord says here, a shadow from the, the heat in the shadow. I don't do the trouble that you know, that your passing. The heat is too much. Heat from the right, to free from the left, to heat to front and back. The trouble, the heat is too much. Father God is telling you. Father God is telling you that he, almighty God, is your shadow. You know, when, you, when there's, in the, in the sun, uh, when the sun is shining, in that heat of that sun, you know, going there, you see, you don't feel comfortable. If you don't wear a shoe, your, your foot, your feet will start burning. Before you know, you're sweating, getting that sun is sweating anyhow. But when you have a, when you have a, no, canopy out there, the canopy is on uh, this, uh, under that sun. You, ha you, but you, 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 you go there in that canopy. You are, you know, you are refreshed, even though that sun is heat, that heat of that sun, but you are under that, under that, that, that canopy, that umbrella. You feel comfortable there. It's what Father God is telling you. The heat of the storm. He said, he is what? He's your, he's what? He's your shadow. He cover you in that heat. That heat of that problem. That heat of that situation. Father God is telling you, my daughter, my son, I am your shadow. I cover you. Don't worry. You will not be put to shame. You will not be put to shame, my daughter. You will not be put to shame, my, my, my son. The God Almighty is telling you. He said, thou shalt bring them down at the noise of the strangers. He will bring down the noise of the strangers. Any stranger in your life. Any stranger, any voice of stranger, any noise of strangers in your life that said you will not uh, amount to anything. They will not give your destiny, will not shine. Father God, almighty God, excellent father, awesome daddy, wonderful savior, he will bring them down. He will bring them down. Your strangers, the strangers in your life. We trust in him. We believe in him. We believe his word. We believe his word. As the heat in the, the, in the, dry, the, in the dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a, a cloud, the branch of the trouble once shall and being brought low. That heat, that heat of that problem, that heat of that situation, God will bring it low. God Almighty will bring it low. He said, and in the distant mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto them all people a feast of a, a feast of a fat, fat things, a feast of a wine on a daily, of a, of a fat things full of a marrow, of a wine on a daily when they refound. A tango for God. Our father is greater than the mountains. I don't know the mountain that's standing on your way. It could be in mountain of sickness. It could be mountain of mountain of a, of a, of a, of a what of poverty. It could be mountain of backwardness. It could be mountain of hatred. People just hate you without no reason. Father God is greater than those mountains. Father God, we bring those mountains down. The Father God, we make those mountains to be your stepping stone that you will climb higher and excel in the name of Jesus Christ. You will excel in the presence of your enemies. You will excel in Jesus' name. As Father God said in his in the book of him, the book of Psalms, the psalmist says, he has, he has prepared a table for me in the presence of my enemies. He, have anointed, he has anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. That is your portion. That is my portion. As a child of God. 
Praise Master Jesus. As a child of the Most High God, the word of the Lord says in, in, in the book of Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah says, and a he that will destroy in this mountain, the face of a dead covering cast over all people. Any covering, any satanic covering, any satanic covering, any dark covering over your life. Any satanic covering, any dark covering over your life, over my life, over for our families, our Father God will remove those evil coverings. God will set fire to burn those evil coverings. They will burn to ashes, cast fire. And burn to ashes. According to the word of the Lord, according to what the, the word of the Lord says here, Professor Isaiah said, and he will destroy. He will destroy, he will destroy in this amount the first of the covering, cast over all people. He will destroy them. He will destroy one, that covering, that satanic covering, that demonic covering, covering your, your, your home, covering your marriage, covering your finances, covering any area of your fire. Father God will destroy them. And then they will come fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. You have to believe. I have to believe the word of God. And God, his word and his, and his word, I, 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 I want. In the verse, we are seeing the verse seven. And the, the veil that uh, is uh, spread over all nations, any veil that the enemy has spread over your, over our nations, over us, over our, over, over our uh, what is it called? Uh, our environment. Every veil that he has spread there, veil of sickness, any kind of veil, veil any kind of veil. They shall be ripping asunder. <clears throat> they shall cut fire. And burn to ashes out of our out of our environments, out of our nations, in Jesus' name. His banner over you, his banner over me is love. He loves you and I. He will go as Ramai to be a blessing. He will go as Ramai to fight your so to fight your battle, to fight my battle for me. Our God. He's the God Almighty. He's the God that's strong and mighty. He's the God Almighty. According to the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord said, lift up your head, oh you, oh you gates, be ye lift up, be ye everlasting doors, and let the King of glory come be. Who is this King of glory? The Lord that's strong and mighty, the Lord that mighty in the battle. He is the King of glory. Praise Master Jesus. We serve a mighty God. The word of the Lord, you see, we are seeing the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 25. In verse 8, is the, the, the prophet, Prophet Isaiah, he said, he, he will not, will not swallow up dead in a victory. I don't know. The handwriting of death. Have been, has been written against us, has been written against our family, has been written against the body of Christ. As the word of the Lord said, Father God will swallow them up. That death, that spirit of death, a sign against us shall be swallowed up in victory in Jesus' name. You just have to believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As the word of the Lord said, and the, the, the prophet says, and prophet Isaiah is saying, and he, 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 almighty God, he, the creator of heaven, and he, the God of heaven, and he will shut up death in victory. What the word of the Lord told you and I in the book of, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the forgotten, I think it's, a, the, maybe I'm not. I don't want in the in the new in the testament in the new in the new testament that is said I forgot the, that is said the, and dead and that father father Lord Jesus Father God sent His Son to come to come and do what Father Lord Jesus Christ sent His Son to destroy the one that has the power of death. That is why Father God sent His Son. That is why Jesus came to to destroy. The, the one that has the power of death, death, that is devil, that is the Satan. And Prophet Isaiah is telling you now that uh, him, 
Almighty God will swallow up any dead spirit. Aside against us, they shall be swallowed up in victory. Our God is a God of victory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. As the word of the Lord is saying, yes, and that the Lord God will not wipe away tears from up all faces, all faces, all his children's faces. Father God says he will wipe away. He will wipe away all tears. He will wipe away tears from all faces. From his children's faces. I don't know the tears that right now dropping from your eyes. Maybe your pillow. Every night you cry now and then. You cry now and then, your pillow is wet. But nobody says it. But Jesus says what you are passing through. Father God is promising you, Father, hold on to the word of the Lord. He said he will wipe away that your tears. My daughter, my son, don't, hold, don't worry, hold on to me. I will wipe away that tears. That is the word of the Lord. He is he's telling you and I, this is the word of the Lord. He said, and uh, the Lord we, and the, sorry, and the Lord God, the Lord God, we wipe away tears from off our faces, your face, my face, our faces, the children of God, the Father God, Lord God, we wipe away tears from our faces. And the rebuke of his and their people shall they, he not take away from off all the earth. And the Lord has spoken it. His God has spoken. His God has spoken. No man. This is the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord, the book of Isaiah is telling you, Prophet Isaiah, he said, His God has spoken it. Not him that spoke it. It's God. It's God that spoke it. Lord has uh, spoken it. Almighty God. Almighty Savior. And it shall uh, be uh, said uh, in uh, that uh, day, Lord, uh, this is uh, our God. We have a wait for him, and he that will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for the him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. I thank God, rejoice and be glad. You know, the word of the Lord says to you in the book of, um, says to you and I in the book of, uh, the book of, uh, the book of Philippians. He said, rejoice, I says, rejoice always. And here, the book of Isaiah, the, the book of Isaiah right now is telling you, the book of Isaiah chapter 25, verse 9, is telling you and I, we, we, the children of God, we will be in a glad and rejoice in his salvation. Rejoice in the salvation of the Lord. Rejoice that you and I, our soul. It's just God has blessed us with his salvation. The salvation of our soul will rejoice. So in verse, you see, in verse, in verse 11, it says, and the healing shall spread forth in the hands in the, the midst of them. And he shall and, and he that the swim it spread it as sorry, as a as a he that the swim it spread it forth his hands to swim. That means. You know, when you are swimming, you know, when you are swimming, you go like this. You come again. When you're swimming. So Father God said, he spread his hand over you and I. Over you and I. So we are safe in his hand. We are safe in the hand of the Most High. He loves you. Lord Jesus loves you. Please hold on to his word. He watched over you, over me. He said he will wipe the chairs away from your eyes. Believe. He loves you. 
no matter what you are passing through right now, hold on to the word of God. Be encouraged by the word of God. Lord Jesus loves you. He cares for you. He will go extra mile to fight your battle for you. He will show you his glory. As he told Brother Moses, I will put you in this cliff. I will put, I will show you. You will see me. You will see my back. It's still the same God you and I will call upon. He loves you. He knows you by your name. Hallelujah. I believe you and I will find favor in his sight. Call upon him. As you call upon him, he will answer you. And according to the word of the Lord, the book of Psalms, the book of Psalms, book of Psalms, call upon him, he will answer you. I should call upon him, he will answer me. Our refuge, our fortress, our God, our Savior, our Redeemer. He loves you. He loves me. He loves all of us. Wipe away. Take your hand right now, wipe your chest away. You have got the victory. I have got the victory. He said it will swallow the, the it will swallow death in victory. We swallow death up in victory. In our lives, in our families, Father God, we swallow death. Death away. Death in, in a victory. Victory is yours. Victory is mine. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for this message. Be encouraged. Lord Jesus loves you. He cares for you. May the Lord bless you all, my dear brothers and sisters. Oh, Heavenly Father, King of glory, Asians of this. But I thank you for this message, oh Lord, of encouragement that you, you sent for right now to encourage each and every one of us, oh Lord. We appreciate you, Father. Thank you for your loving us so much. Thank you for your being our father, our refuge, our fortress. Thank you for your hiding us in your sacred place. Thank you for your, you know, to be the apple of your eye. Father, we appreciate you. Thank you, Father, for the victory that you give to us over death. We bless your holy name, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord. I plead the blood of just kind this message in this video. Plead the blood of just kind each and every one of us, O oh Lord. The one that listening right now, the one that will listen later, Father, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ on them. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. May the Lord bless you all. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.